name is Larry and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to remove this uh, flywheel off of this treadmill motor. Uh, it's not that hard, but I had some questions myself as to which way did it spin off or did it pull off. Uh, if it has a key way, I guess in most cases it is going to pull off. But let me show you the treadmill motor right there. That's the animal we're working on. If you look at it close enough, you'll see there is a... We'll try to get it close where it doesn't blur out. There is a key way in there. So that tells me you can't spin this off. It is a... There's a label. If you can't read it, I'll call it back out to you. It is a 90 volts, 18 amps, 5400 RPM, horsepower 2.25, field PM, AMB is 40 degrees Celsius, treadmill rotation is clockwise. So stick with me here, we're going to try to pull this off. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do for sure is soak it with penetrating oil because it's probably been on it for quite some time. Like I said, I've looked at a lot of different videos on YouTube and out there on the internet, Google, Bing, and everywhere else, and <clears throat> man, I just uh, got so many different answers. And so back to work. what the video is about. We're trying to get this flywheel off of this treadmill motor. Now, I'm going to have to work at this angle. I know it's not uh, beneficial for you, but I'm going to have to work from this side. We've been soaking this shaft here now for about eight hours. It's got two keyways. And they use an Allen wrench. Uh, I don't remember what size it was. But you got one keyway right there. Okay, I've tried to adjust my lighting to get you the best possible view I can. However, no matter where I move these lights, it's a shadowy day outside. The skylights in the roof don't put out much light. We have lighting in the warehouse. However, I'm going to have to shadow one of the lights uh, from the lighting. So you'll have to bear with me. Well, anyhow, like I stated earlier, I'm sure I covered it in the first part of the video, but let's just recap. It's got a keyway inside there, and it also has two set screws. One right here, and one right here, and I'm hope hoping I got that light close enough where you can see those. Now, loosen those up or put you some liquid ranch on there. I use this blaster here is what I used on them. And I've been soaking them for six to eight hours. And uh, you're going to have to get those out of there. You know, I've already loosened them up. They was a booger, but I did get them out of there. Yeah, you get those set that. screws loose. You don't have to take them all the way out, but get them loose where they're not restricting you from pulling it off the shaft. And, you know, there's a lot of videos out there on YouTube. I looked all over Google. There's a lot of different videos out there telling you, oh, you just twist it off, spin it, spin it backwards uh, versus the clockwise rotation of this, and it should spin loose. Uh, I don't think so. I, I think this is a different critter here. I think this one is just pressed onto the shaft on a keyway. Uh, there's nothing really holding it in on the end. So we're going to see. Maybe I'm wrong, but we're going to see. So we got this thing out here like so. And you're not going to be able to see it from my side. But after you lubricated it up, let it sit for quite some time, put your puller on there. And either we're going to make this or we're going to bust this. I'm not sure which one we're going to do. Uh, but we're going to try to pull it off. Make sure your pulleys even on both sides. Make sure your set screws are loose. Make sure you don't have anything in, in the end of it, like a washer, that would impede it from being pulled off. Now I'm going to try to put a little pressure on here. Just like you see there. It's not going to be easy because you're going to have to hang on to this pretty tight. And I'm, I'm going clockwise with the screw. I feel like it's coming loose. Something's given. And I got a good feeling that it is the flywheel. Now I'll stop right here in this part of the video. I bet you're wondering why I'm trying to get this, this flywheel off here, right? Well, I am going to try to use this treadmill for a wind generator. Wind generator or wind turbine operation. Now there's so many videos out there, everybody using these for wind generating, five blade, three blade, I mean just wind turbines everywhere is all over YouTube. But I want to try it myself. I want to see if I can put five blades on here, just like you see right here. And these blades are probably every bit of 22, 24 inches each. 
I'm going to mount them on here just like you see right there. I'm going to make them fit the end of this treadmill shaft without the flywheel. And I'm just curious what kind of voltage you're going to put out. And you won't know until we try it, right? You're absolutely right. Okay, let's try to pull this off. I'm looking at the end down here, and I see that it is moving. So, hey guys, we got something happening here. So now we've come to the conclusion that this is not one of those flywheels that you see in some of the YouTube videos that you can just reverse the motor direction and it will spin off. This is a press fit flywheel on this old treadmill motor. Now I really don't see the name. Well, I do see the name, but I just can't read it. It's definitely made in China. And it is definitely a permanent magnet motor because it says that. And it says catalog number YA247. So I imagine if we Google that, we'd get some information. Woo! I'm going to have to get me a lunch. Lunch break here in a minute. He's wearing my old butt out. Well, it's gotten loose enough where I can do it by hand. And it, voila, it come off of there. How do you like that? Well, you can see it's just a press fit. Pretty heavy little flywheel. And there is the shaft. And it has a keyway in it. And there's where one set screw was hitting. There's where the other set screw was hitting. So we've accomplished that task of getting that flywheel off of that treadmill motor. Now then, what we got to do, this thing does not have a keyway in it. So I'm gonna, in the next video, I'm gonna get over there on my old, my old lathe, my old Victor 1640 manual lathe, and I'm gonna find a way to either make this fit, this, or I'm gonna build me some kind of adapter. So you may wanna hit the like, subscribe button to see where this video is gonna go and where it's gonna end up, and if it's gonna work or it's not gonna work. Be sure. Hit the like, subscribe, because it does help this video get out there to people like me that was looking for a way to resolve this issue. And you did see I've gotten the, the flywheel off of that treadmill motor. So, like and subscribe, thumbs up. See you next time. We're going to make us a part that will adapt the shaft to that five blade, I don't know, rotor assembly, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to bore the inside of this thing out. We're going to slip over the shaft on the motor. Then we're going to put some threads on the other end to mount that hub to it. Then we'll be able to mount the blades to it. I guess you call it a blade hub adapter to the motor shaft.